Hello Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. So this is going to be a reading about um, your present person. It could be a new person and then your past person, okay? Some people care to know what's going on with their past person. So don't beat them up too bad, all right? So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to kind of go back and forth, you know, back and forth. Um, so we'll start with your present person. Let's see how your present person feels about you, Aquarius. Okay, the Knight of Swords. So they feel like um, maybe you could be impulsive at times. They could also be determined, you know, about you or about having you or about keeping you. Um, they also could be intellectual. Uh, they like the fact that you guys can have a really profound conversation. Something about impulsive, you know, um impulsivity like maybe you're the impulsive one or they're impulsive this is a very aquarius card so they definitely can feel like you're very smart you're impulsive you're determined to see your goals through okay so your present person sees you as a person who is dis determined to fulfill their goals you are actually tunnel vision on your goals okay um you may not have uh, in love, it's not like you're really focused on love and you really don't have a plan, uh, a course of action that you're taking in terms of love. You're really focused on you and maybe career uh, and monetary goals. You're trying to see something through. You're trying to take something to the next level. Some of you, this is like a job change also or career change. So your person could be seeing you as just focused on career and finance and, and just yourself. All right, so your past person. Let's see what the past person feels about you, Aquarius. How does the past person feel about Aquarius? All right, the hanged man. Okay, so they can feel like you are um, just kind of in suspended animation. Uh, you're waiting for things to kind of turn over for you. Um, you also are hands off. It's like you're not doing anything. They see that you're not partic uh, participating in... Uh, you're not particip you're participating in your life, but you're also really accepting what is happening around you, especially in this relationship, because this is a past person. So they see you as not engaging with them. You're not trying to create anything with them. You're not trying to do um, you're, you're pretty much hands off. You could be waiting for some enlightenment. You could just be thinking over, you know, to yourself. You know, what do I need to do to have what it, what I really want, especially in relationship? Um, so your person just sees you as taking a break, a breather, uh, taking a step back, not doing anything, not action oriented. OK, uh, so the past person sees you that way. What does the new person want to say to the Aquarius? What does the new person want to say to the Aquarius? Okay, they want to say the tower. All right, so um, what they want to say to you is that they're hoping that maybe this relationship that you guys are in doesn't crash and burn like maybe a past relationship because sometimes the tower can talk about historical reference. Um, they're hoping that historically things don't fall apart like they did before. Um, or they're hoping that history doesn't repeat itself. Um, with the tower too, they have like a, an upsurge and, uh, you know, um, a surge, um, all of a sudden they have these feelings for you. Okay. Um, they could feel a certain way about you all of a sudden, um, this new person wants to either see you, be with you, be intimate with you. They could also want um, they could also be putting somebody else out of their life, okay, because of that that history element there. Um, 
this is what they want to say to you, you know. Um, also, they feel like if the relationship was kind of built on, you know, kind of faulty ground, they kind of want to start over with you. Or they want to start anew. Or they want to, like, um, maybe they had different intentions for you in terms of uh, how things would go, you know. Um now they feel differently. What is the tower card? What is the tower card for what the new person? The ace of coins. Yeah, so all of a sudden, they could definitely want to have sex with you. They want to solidify the relationship, maybe consummate the relationship if they have not had sex with you. Um, they also want to start this off really good. They feel like this is you are a good opportunity. They want this to, to uh, go the distance here. Um, they feel like, you know, your dream come true. Uh, you are a manifestation of their dreams. Uh, wow, they really feel um, really good about you. They feel like you are a solid individual. Um, yeah, they really want to grow this connection, this relationship. They want to put 110% behind, you know, seeing something really come out of this. So that's really good how this new person feels about you. Um, it could have started off rocky or just you guys didn't know where it was going. So it was kind of, maybe it was hot and cold off and on, or it just didn't seem like there was a lot of chemistry there. But now someone is really seeing the potential in the relationship. What does the old person want to tell the Aquarius? What does the old person want to tell the Aquarius? So we got the eight of wands. They want to tell you that they are... They want this to come to some conclusion, okay? Um, maybe the separation between the two of you, they want they want to talk to you so that you guys can reach a conclusion. They also might want to tell you that they're obsessed with you or infatuated with you. But most people who are obsessed with people infatuated don't tell you, but they are. Um, they could also be manifesting you, the law of attraction coming up with the eight of wands. Uh, they're missing the intimacy. They're waiting for an opportunity to come to uh, to you, uh, the prime opportunity to come to you. They want to have some type of uh, clearing the air, declaration of their intentions. Um, so this person really wants to talk to you, clear the air. If there was a lot of jealousy, trouble, drama within the connection, they really want to talk about it. Okay, so it looks like you know, the past person wants to talk to you. Um, let's see, uh, where this goes. What does the new person want with the Aquarius ultimately? What does the new person want with Aquarius ultimately? Okay. Um, we got a whole bunch of cards that fell onto the floor. We're just going to pick them up and put them back into the deck. All right. Let's see. What does the new person want with the Aquarius? What does the new person want with the Aquarius? The Queen of Coin. Okay, so they see you as like wifey material. They got pentacles coming up for you. They, this, this person has plans for you, Aquarius. Whoever this is, okay? Um, they see you as very nurturing. Um, they see you as uh, a good luck charm. You care about yourself, your home, your family. They they understand that you want a family dynamic, whatever that looks like for you. You want that. Um, what they want with you is to maybe take the relationship to the next level also. They see that you're a good catch. They could want to propose marriage to you. Okay. Um, some of them could want to move in with you. You could be a working mom, and they, they see that, you know, they, they want to offer help and support. They want to take the relationship to the next, you know, to the next level. Get more committed if, if you guys are not committed to one another. Very nice. What does this past person want with the Aquarius? What does the past person... Okay. The nine of wands. All right, so they this person could just want to. So it goes from the eight of wands to the nine of wands. So this person could want another try with you to, you know, be connected to you, to have sex with you, to be in your presence. 
but they're they're still possibly non-committal or having trouble with um commitment and intimacy um yeah therefore they aren't able to give you that um what they want with you is maybe like a a friends with benefits type of relationship we got the three of cups at the bottom of the deck so they definitely want reconciliation reunion with you they know that you're the one that got away they could possibly want to take the relationship to the next level. They could be standoffish just because they don't know where they stand with you. Let's clarify the Nine of Wands. Um, they also could just want a kind of friends with benefits relationship. They don't want to take it to the next level. Let's see. What is the Nine of Wands for the past person? What is the Nine of Wands for the past person? Uh, the Three of Cups came out. You heard me shuffling. So... They could want, yeah, to date you, like friends with benefits. They they want you as an option. Um, they like your energy. They like having you around. They want to reconcile with you. They feel like, you know, they, they understand your worth. But at the same time, they don't have much to offer you, okay? Um, yeah, they don't have much to offer you. Uh, or they don't want to offer that. They or Maybe they never did, you know? Maybe this person never wanted that. What we're going to do in the extended is see the advice for you. What's the advice for the Aquarius for the new person? Okay. And then the advice for the old person. Um, let's see if Aquarius gives the old person a chance. Where will it go? Uh, so, yeah, we're going to see where this goes. Um, the advice for the new person, the advice for Aquarius dealing with the new person. Whoa, these cards are jumping up here. Spirit really wants to speak to you. Okay. Hey, advice for Aquarius for the new person. Very nice. Very nice advice, Aquarius. And advice for Aquarius for the old person. Advice for Aquarius dealing with an old person and we're in mercury retrograde so we definitely will have some people resurfacing get the extended read especially if you cannot um afford um your own personal reading at this time maybe this will offer you some uh, clarity okay we only got one card for the old person um Let's talk about this at the extended. This is going to get interesting, I see. All right, Aquarius, if you want to purchase the extended reading, it is in the description box below. It's also pinned to the top of the comment section. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. All links are below. Um, you could donate to the channel if you took something from this reading. Again, thank you. Take care.